Hey everyone, so in this video we have a differential equation. Um, and whenever you have a DE, differential equation, that looks like some stuff dx plus some stuff dy, it's probably going to be homogeneous or it's going to be exact. Uh, let's try to see if it's exact. So check if something is exact. You start by calling this big N, and then you call this over here uh, big N. And then you take partial derivatives, right? So we'll start by taking the partial of this, so del n. And the way I memorize it is it's the other variable. So if there's an x here, this will be del y. And then over here, the way I memorize it is, again, if there's a y here, this will be del x. So if these are the same, then the differential equation um, is said to be exact. And then we can solve it. So let's see. We're taking the partial of m with respect to y. So we're treating all of the x's as constants. Okay, so the derivative of 1 is 0 e to the x is a constant, so the derivative of y is 1, so we just get e to the x. We're taking the derivative with respect to y, so now I'm going here. So uh, this is a constant, right? It's a constant. So we're taking the derivative with respect to y, so we just get x e to the x, because the derivative of y is 1, and this piece hangs out. Here we're taking the derivative with respect to x, so here we do have to use a product rule, right? Remember the product rule says, the way I do it is like this, if you have fg, I don't know if you can see up there, I'll do it here. If you have fg prime, it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. That's how I do the product rule. A little bit different than some of the books. So the derivative of the first times the second plus the first derivative of the second. Okay, the derivative of the first is one times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second, right? The derivative of e to the x is e to the x, right? e to the x has that property where it's the only non-zero function who is its own derivative. Anyways, the derivative of x is 1 times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Boom, these are the same, so the DE is exact. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, that means that there is a function whose total derivative or total differential is equal to this differential equation. In other words, that function is a solution to this differential equation. There's a couple ways to do this. You could do it the uh, fast way or the uh, short way. Let's do it the fast way. Okay, so the fast way uh, is you integrate this with respect to x, you integrate this with respect to y, then you just use matching and you're done, you have the answer. So again, you integrate this with respect to x, you integrate this with respect to y, and you just do matching and you have the answer. So to integrate this with respect to x, we have to be a little bit careful. So this one here is gonna be x, this here, y is a constant, right? So we're integrating e to the x, okay? We're integrating e to the x uh, with respect to x. That's just e to the x, and the y hangs out. So it's plus e to the x, y. Think of it as like 2 e to the x. If you integrate 2 e to the x, you just get 2 e to the x. If you integrate y e to the x, you just get y e to the x. Here's where we have to use caution, right? So because here, it's like we have a number, and then we have x e to the x. So we can use tabular for this. So I'm actually going to rewrite this down here, and we're going to work it out. So I'm going to write this. We're going to integrate this piece. I'm going to write this as um, yx e to the x dx. And we're going to do this integral. We're just going to do it. So to do this, we're going to think of this as the piece that we will repeatedly differentiate for tabular integration. Let's use tabular on this. So we write this piece down, so yx. Then we just differentiate the derivative of yx uh, with respect to x is y, and the derivative of y is 0. So in tabular, you pick a piece and you differentiate. So that's this piece here. So the derivative of yx with respect to x is y, because the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of y is 0, right? it's constant. Here, we're, we're going to write down e to the x and just integrate it, so we just get e to the x. In tabular, you start with plus, so plus, minus plus, and then you draw arrows, boom. That's the answer, so you just follow the arrows. So this is going to be yx e to the x, what a crazy problem, minus y e to the x. We integrate it with respect to x, we have to add an unknown function of y. So that was a lot, okay? So basically we integrate this with respect to x, we had to do this piece with respect to x, so I wrote it down here, right? And um, we use tabular. So in tabular, you pick a piece that after repeated differentiation is eventually zero. So we used yx, uh, and then after repeated integration, nothing happens to this one, it's just e to the x forever. And then you just follow the arrows and you get the answer. Uh, then we add an unknown function of the other variable. Here we're integrating with respect to y, super easy. So this is a constant, so this integral is e to the x, x e to the x times y, and the integral of y of two is just two y. 
And then we add an unknown function of the other variable. So in this case, that other variable um, is x. This will be plus f of x. You're like some sawing in the background. I don't know if you'll hear that. Um, now we just use matching to get the answer. So let's see. So x, it's progress, right? So I'm going to put a check there. Check. Uh, e to the x, y. Um, okay, so plus e to the x, y. y, x, e to the x. Minus y e to the x. Oh, look, 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 look. Before I do this, uh, I just realized something. These are the same, right? Wow. So let me just rewrite this. Let me just rewrite this one more time. x plus y x before we do any kind of matching. I didn't even see that. Uh, I heard that song and I got distracted. This is going to be x y e to the x, right? Plus 2y plus f of x. Yeah, so I didn't even see that. Those cancel, so worth doing. Okay, now we're going to use matching. So we have x. Um, so check. This is the same as this. So we have, we have plus x, y, e to the x. And that's it for over here. Okay, so then we have 2y over here. That's the only thing that's different. And say, so what about these? Well, g of y must be equal to 2y. Why? Because these are equal. And f of x must be equal to x. Right? So that's it. That's it. So let, all you do is you write this down, you write this down, you say, okay, done. And then what's different over here? Oh, just the 2y. That's it. That's equal to c. So that would be an implicit solution to the differential equation. If you wanted to solve this for y, let's do it. You would subtract the x and pull out the y. So you would get y, x e to the x, plus 2 equals c minus x. Then you would divide by this. So you would get c minus x, x e to the x, plus 2. That would be an explicit solution to the differential equation. Kind of rushed, but uh, hopefully that uh, helps someone out there. That's it.